All right, peace and light, family. I'd like to welcome you to Mental Health Mindset Monday, uh, where every Monday I'm going to be sharing my thoughts uh, on myself, my own life, uh, kind of purging my system and sharing my thoughts with you guys, right? Because I feel like mental health is something that affects us all, um, whether we talk about it or not, but it's stored up energy. And if we don't get it out, um, we can self-combust, literally. Um, it's energy that's stored within us. And there's a lot of platforms uh, that's out there, but uh, we give a fake facade out for social media a lot of times. And I think that um, it hides our true identity. Uh, so I'm going to be sharing mine, uh, you know, a little behind the scenes uh, for Mindset uh, Monday, Mental Health Mindset Monday. One of the things that I love to address uh, is the idealism of the self-made millionaires. Um, I, I'm... For me, I'm tired of hearing it because nobody is a self-made millionaire. Um, there is somebody um, that helped somebody to get to that level. I don't care who they are, who helped you along the way, but not, there's not one millionaire that's out there that has did it all by their self, right? Or the, uh, the idealism of uh, working for yourself. Even as an entrepreneur, you work for you work for your customers, the people that support you, the people that give you money uh, to buy whatever it is, your creativity, uh, whatever you are soliciting, product services, um, you work for them. All right. They pay you. You work for them. All right. So um, nobody works for themselves. It doesn't work like that within the body, outside the body, inside the body, um, in the environment. You know, there's a symbiosis of all things working together in unison and harmony. Um, that is what we do. That is what we're supposed to do. When we don't do that, then we get plagued with diseases and the, the flow of energy is not correct. It's not right. It stagnates and holds up into certain places. And those things cause us cancer. Um, those things, it affects the body in so many different ways and numerous amounts of ways that you can even you know, put a finger on, right? Because um, we have this selfishness idea that we have to do it for ourselves first before we can give back when the natural, normal uh, human quality and ability is to share and to give, right? Because you have a nurturing parent and nurturing parents raise nurturing kids, right? And kids love to share, but then at some point the parents like, hey, look, Jimmy didn't buy that for you. I did. So don't give your toys to them. You know what I mean? Or whomever, right? You're taught not to give things away, to hold things, right? And I feel like our whole life we work at trying to get back to the giving aspect, right? Just so that we could be free and that we can help others. So many people have gotten up and climbed up, but we feel that everybody has to climb up the same way when we all have different experiences. The thing is that, you know, um, if we all took the same exact path and listened to the person that went before us, then we would be that person, right? And then there would be no need for that person. There would be no need for you or me or anybody else if we were all being the same person. The thing that makes us great is the thing that makes us different, right? And the thing that we are able to share is the things that we are able to build with, right? So our our society, our culture, our world is built off of shared experiences that um, come from one another, right? Science over the years, medicine has come from different philosophies and theories from the early 1900s, right? Just off of thought processes that were shared and argued, right? And so, you know, we in this world now, I just see that we're so quick to call people crazy, like a Kanye or a musician with so much creativity, Right. But we don't think the the think to myself, um, we don't seem to think that how many people or musicians came before him that we called or we looked at that went through so many different problems um, like a Whitney Houston or Michael Jackson or Prince. Uh, you know, what I mean, like there's so many different artists, man, that was out there, man, uh, comedians, man, that has broken down um, in that world. Right. And, you know, we quit the right people off as crazy, which is it's crazy for us to continue to pay taxes and to do the same thing and expect a different result. Right. When you need 30 trillion dollars in debt, but then we'll call somebody homeless crazy because they want to live on the street. Right. 
And I've actually been out there helping homeless people that don't mind being on the street because they don't want to be plugged in and tied into the system. So who's crazy? You know, we we really just have to step outside of ourselves, man, and, and really try to take notice of what's going on in this world around us, man, because, you know, we're here and meant to share experiences with one another. And, you know, so many of us are hurt, are broken down, or storing so much uh, energy with inside of us and don't have a release mechanism or outlet and, or not as creative. And those are the ones that you actually got to worry about because people, we're all creative and have some level of creativity inside, but don't know how to express it or don't have a numerous amount of ways of expressing it. Some of us, some other, uh, some of us, you know, that, that can write, that can sing, that can dance, or, you know, that can act, uh, you know, that can run a business or run different levels of business and share those ideas. You know what I mean? So those who are stagnated in those, you find different ways that to, to do it or to take from someone else, right? There's always a balance and it has to be a balance. So where one side is really gifted, there's going to be the side that's going to be really, you know, looking to take from, you know what I mean? That's an antioxidant and free radical, right? You know what I mean? One robs, you know, and one gives, you know, and that is just the same, you know, that happens inside the body and out, right? So um, this is my mental health uh, Monday, you know, kind of me getting my thoughts out, how I think of things, how I see things on social media platforms, and just something that I wanted to address uh, today. Uh, thanks if you heard me, and if not, you know, peace be with you anyway, right? So uh, peace and love. Stay balanced. The fight continues inside the body and out. It's the Alkaline Man, Family Springs.